Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, All Things Trek 47, Bienvenidos. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, I really do appreciate it. Today we're going to continue the Returning to Stowe series. I'm really excited about it because I'm going to be able to get something that will really benefit this account quite a bit. And that is my first tier 6 ship. Um, let me just show you what I mean by that. So, as you can see, I've acquired some Zen in this account in fact to the tune of 1669 zen you'll see they're under personal balance in the dilithium exchange i have some more dilithium that is tied up to grab some more zen but um i've been grinding for a bit <laughs> been playing this character quite a lot and my other ones in this account just to be able to get enough zen we knew that a jim hadar recruitment event was going to happen at some point it hadn't happened yet this year and as I stated in some of the previous videos, by the way, the link to that will be down below to those videos. Um, starting off, if, if you've already played the game, you, you're probably going to want to start off with the Jim Hunter character because it starts you off at the higher levels and you can start doing the grind to be able to get more ships, uh, more resources for your account and leave your account in better standing for any other characters that you choose to create in the future, whether that be Klingon characters, um, Federation characters, Romulan characters, or even other Jim Hadar characters, it doesn't matter. Um, starting off with the Jim Hadar character really gives you some benefits. So I've already been able to get some benefits out of that, um, which I've talked about in the other videos. And now I'm going to get even more benefits because I'm going to create a Gamma Recruit character because that's live now. And so that character is going to give me even more um, benefits. Um, more items, more currencies that I could use as part of building up my account. And just have fun playing with that character, of course. Because um, <laughs> at the end of the day, if you're not having fun, then why, why play, right? So I have enough here, Zen, to grab something. Let me show you what that is. Let's go to the Zen store. And right now, because we have the Jim Hadar recruitment event um, going on, Anything having to do with the Jem'Hadar is on sale, all those packs. So you can see that the Vanguard, the Gamma Vanguard starter pack is on sale, 25% off. If this had been still regular price, I would be short. I would not be able to get this, but today I will be able to get this because it's 25% off and the price is 1,500 Zen. What does this pack give me? This pack gives me this ship right here that you see. It is a T6 Jem'Hadar Vanguard Dreadnought Cruiser. Um, it gives me a playable Jem'Hadar Vanguard species. Now there is a difference between the Vanguard species and the regular Jem'Hadar character. Um, and I'll go into those in a, in a little bit. You also get the Jem'Hadar tactical uniform. So I don't have really, I don't think that many uniforms unlocked, if any at all. And um, well, I do have some. I have st some that were given away and things like that. Um, in fact, let's go take a look at that real quick. If I go to uh, promotions, we recently got the Starfleet Protostar uniform. I'm not 100% sure if this is still on there, but if it is, definitely grab this. Um, I think it's a neat uniform and you can change the colors. And if you only like the top or bottom pieces of this uniform, then you can mix and match with other uniforms, pieces that you enjoy more. Um, also, I think the badge is kind of cool. So if you have not gotten this yet and it's still up, definitely go grab this also just uh fyi the resurgence um promotional giveaway i think it's still live yeah for the next 45 days so you'll be able to get this skin it's a skin it's not a full ship it's a skin for any miranda class variant ship i can't use this currently because i don't have a, a starfleet character created yet i'll be able to use this probably for my level one ship but after that, nothing because I don't really have a tier 6 ship, um, Federation tier 6 ship, much less a um, kind of a Miranda class ship. Right now, because of that sale, I'm going to be able to grab that Vanguard starter pack. If you have the money, also the big pack is, uh, is on sale. This is the Gamma Vanguard pack, not the starter one, just the big pack. And this one has a lot of ships. I mean, you're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight, nine. This is 10 ships total. Um, not all of them are tier 6. There are two, three of these are tier 5 ships. 
So this Cardassian Galar class is a tier five, and then two of the Gem Hadar ships are tier five ships. This uh, Cardassian Galar class though does unlock a special disruptor type for you. The Spirewave disruptor weapons for your account. They're some of the hardest hitting disruptor weapons in the game, so that's kind of nice to have. But the other ships are tier six, and they're pretty great. Some of these, especially, you know, some of these have really good traits. The Intel Flight Deck Carrier has a trait that's called, let's see if I remember. <laughs> Look it up here. Calm Before the Storm. Calm Before the Storm is a really beneficial trait, especially at lower levels, even at higher levels. But um, especially at lower levels, it's a good trait to have. And by lower levels, I mean, you know, if you're not spending like a ton of money on the game, this will be a very beneficial trait for you. And it's, it's an interesting looking ship with hangar bays and stuff. The one that I'm getting today also has hangar bays. Let's go over it just a little bit. It's a very slow ship, so it's slow turning. Um, the base turn rate is seven, <laughs> so it's gonna be a little sluggish. However, a ship like this, like a Dreadnought, can take more hits than say something like an escort ship, which is fast and nimble and small. This one, you'll be able to take it a good few hits before blowing up. So that's kind of nice, especially if you're starting off. But yeah, the base turn rate is gonna be slow. However, to help out a little bit, you get some nice things. First of all, when you get a Vanguard ship, you're gonna get something called the wingman mechanic, and you're gonna be able to have two ships that are with you at all times, and they're basically kind of your wingmen. So when you go into combat, they're gonna be doing damage, you have some commands that you can give them as well. If you need them to help you regenerate your shields or regenerate your hull, you could have them do that, which is great. And if you need them to take out like the biggest bad guy in the map, then they'll help you take it down. So you can hit like, make sure you concentrate your fire in that ship and they will do that along with you, which is really neat. It's a nice mechanic to have. They're very, very useful little pets to have in the game. In addition to that though, you also get some hangar pets and those ships, I don't remember what they're called. Gem Hadar Vanguard gunboats is what they're called. And you get, I think it's like a couple of those as well. And they actually hit pretty, pretty hard. So it's nice to, to be able to have that. So in total, by grabbing this one ship, I'm going to be able to get what, like four pets, four combat pets that are going to be fighting right alongside me. So I got like a little fleet, you know, <laughs> so that's kind of nice. It's going to help me level up that character a lot faster. One of the things about tier six ships is that, um, especially when you get a Klingon character to level 65, basically you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to use any kind of ship with any kind of character in your account. So you could have a Federation character flying a Klingon ship. You have, a, you could have a Klingon character flying a Federation ship, Romulans flying any ships they want. And even your Jim Hadar flying any ships they want. You could purchase that in the Zen store. I believe it's like 2000 Zen or just level up a Klingon character to level 65 and you get that automatically unlocked for free. Um, that's the route that I would personally recommend. With all these ships, you can do cross-faction flying. However, there is something about this ship that is different and that is that it doesn't automatically happen with the Vanguard ships. You have to get them leveled up to level six before they are unlocked for any character on your account. So it's a little bit different. So you do have to play with this with this ship and you gotta keep leveling it up, up to level six. Once you do that, at level six, it unlocks automatically for any character in your account. So your Klingons can use it, your Romans can use it, your Federation characters can use it just fine, no problem. Um, until then, they're only usable on your Gem Hadar characters. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this. Man, I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> I'm on my uh, my original character here, Tamek, the one I started this account with. Now, Tamek is gonna take a little bit of a back seat because I am gonna create a Jem Hadar uh, recruit character today, and that's gonna be my main tune. I'm gonna level that guy up so much. By the way, let me tell you a little bit about the differences between the uh, just a regular Jem Hadar character and a Vanguard character. So. A Vanguard um, Jem Hadar versus regular Jem Hadar has different things. And one of them is that you'll get three R&D schools leveled all the way up to 15. So it depends on whether it is an engineer, 
a science or a tactical which of those three r d schools you'll unlock but um you'll be able to unlock three of them i believe with a regular gem hadar character you might have only gotten two of those but with a vanguard one you'll be able to get three of those unlocked now the vanguard again you'll only be able to get by buying either the vanguard starter pack or the bigger gamma pack you won't be able to get that just by creating a recruit character you'll still get some great benefits by creating a recruit character even if you don't have the money for a vanguard specifically starter pack or anything like that still create a gem hadar recruit character do not think that just because it's not a vanguard specific gem hadar that you won't reap some benefits because there's definitely benefits to to creating just a regular recruit character let me continue with with the differences here we have extra reputations um, completed also so with tamak we had let me take a look here real quick if we go to traits or to skills and specializations tamak had intelligence officer fully completed that was just from logging into the character and it had half of the command officer specialization completed so all the way so it went from tier one and tier two but it didn't have neither tier three or tier four completed so it was just halfway completed on this one but intel was fully completed with a vanguard character you'll get both of those fully completed which means i won't have to put any points at all into intelligence officer or into command officer at least for the um for the tactical version i put some points into strategist because of space combat it's one of the better secondary skills for that but I've also been trying to complete Command Officer with this character. I might just stop. <laughs> I mean, I'll keep playing with this character, some TFOs and things like that, and some of the Admiralty missions, because I still want to be able to grab some Dilithium, right? But I probably won't dedicate as much time trying to level up these specializations on this particular character, because I will be creating that recruit, Gem Hadar, which will give me more benefits. Another difference between a Vanguard and a regular Jim Hadar character is that with the Vanguard, you get the reputation pre-sponsored tokens. And I'm looking over here because that's where I have my notes. Um, <laughs> so basically, all of your reputations, with the exception of two, with the exception of the Gamma Task Force and the Discovery Legends, every single other one, so basically Task Force Omega, all the way to competitive war games you get the sponsor sponsorship token what that means is that it will take you half as much time to level these different reputations up as it would on another character now i'm going to continue to level up with my main character my original character tamak um the discovery legends and the gamma task force to task force because I am so close to completing those up to level five. Once I unlock these to level five, it will unlock that sponsorship token on any other character in my account. So I am so close, so I'm gonna level just these two up, and then I don't even have to worry about touching any of the rest of these for this particular character. I'll just concentrate on leveling these up in my main Gem Hadar character, which is going to be the recruit character from now on. So I hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below or um, join the Discord. You can ask your questions there and I'd be very happy to uh, go ahead and answer those for you. Those are some of the differences there between a Vanguard and a regular Jim Hadar. Um, you're not going to get any of these special uh, bridge officers that you would get on the, the big pack, the Gamma Vanguard pack. You do get special bridge officers that help you do more damage in space. You're not going to get that from the starter pack you'll only get that on the bigger pack and creating a recruit gem hadar recruit character is not going to unlock that for you either okay so now that i've purchased that i'm going to go ahead and create a recruit character and i will update you on that in the next video i hope this has been informative and i hope that this continues to help you understand why if you're returning to stow you might want to start off with gem hadar character if you haven't yet I would definitely recommend you do that today or sometime this week or sometime in the next. Let me see when this recruitment event 
is live until let's see gamma recruit it's live until november 2nd so do it anytime before november 2nd make sure you create a gem hadar character and a gamma recruit because you're going to get a lot of bonuses and in the next video i'll talk a little bit more about those bonuses after i've created the character again i hope this has been informational i know it seems like a lot of information maybe at first but um if you have any questions again feel free to leave questions down below in the comment section or join the discord and um, i'll be happy to help you out there as well until next time live long and prosper thanks so much for watching and remember to like and subscribe see you next time